What is up home workout and bodyweight exercise fans? In today's video, I'll be giving you the first tips that you can use in order to train in a more mindful way. So today's tips are very simple and what we are aiming to do is bringing ourselves a little bit more to the present in the beginning of our workout. So before you start warming up, I want you to try and do this very simple exercise. The purpose of this exercise is to simply calm down your thoughts and you know bring you into the present so you can give to your mind a little bit more space to breathe by getting out of your own head. So what we're going to use are three of our basic senses. So number one, that's sight, seeing. Number two, that's hearing. And number three is our uh, physical perception or somato perception as it's called. Now, starting with step number one, uh, again, you do this before you start warming up or doing anything, you know, just before you uh, engage into your workout, I want you to just sit in the place that you're going to train, either that's a room or, you know, a park outside, whatever it is, uh, make sure you have a little bit of privacy, you know, there are not a, maybe a lot of people around you, uh, you're not listening to music as well, for now, you can turn it on later on and simply do a quick scan of the space around you. So just look around and, you know, identify some objects maybe, uh, look at the walls or the trees or, you know, whatever might be around you. And you'll notice if you do this, it will slowly start bringing you into the present. So right now I was, I was a little bit more in my head while talking uh, to this camera and making this video. And now that I'm starting to notice the space around, the space around me, I'm starting to feel a bit more present. So um, just do this for, I would say half a minute to one minute max. And once you feel that you're a little bit more into the present, once you feel that the chattering in your head has calm down a little bit, uh, move on to the next exercise and that's focusing on sound. So now I want you to listen a little bit more carefully. Uh, so stop listening too much into your inner thoughts and dialogues and try to start listening to the natural sounds around you. I want you to, as an exercise, try to identify three sounds that you weren't aware so far. So. Right now, I can hear a car. Uh, I can hear sort of um, the sound of the you know, atmosphere from um, the town around me. And I can hear a dog barking. So uh, these are three sounds that I wasn't aware until I started paying attention to my hearing. So you'll see that the second exercise will also help you get a little bit more outside of your head. And moving on to the third exercise, I want you to do a quick scan of your body and identify feelings and sensations that you weren't aware so far. So right now I can feel a little bit of a tingling in my chest. I can feel a little bit of tightness in my neck and I can feel my foot on the floor. Uh, I can feel some weight uh, on it, some pressure. So doing these three exercises, again, very simple, just focus number one on your sight, have a quick uh, look around the room, identify some objects, identify, you know, some uh, maybe the walls, your surroundings and all that. Number two, Focus on your hearing. So try to identify as a little challenge, three sounds you weren't aware of until you started doing that exercise. And number three, you want to do a quick scan of your body and identify again, maybe two to three sensations that you weren't aware of. So by doing this, you'll notice that everything suddenly is going to become very more peaceful, you know, you'll notice that 
the flow of your thoughts will be a little bit slower and maybe you won't be thinking at all for a few seconds here and there and you'll notice that you're also going to calm down a little bit it's kind of like you know you're always caught into this movie in your head that's a lot of times a little bit faster than it should be it's some of times over complicating things it's sometimes stressing too much about things it shouldn't stress and you know by doing this very simple exercise you'll notice that you feel a lot more calm you feel this natural inner peace that was there all along so again it's about a balance of effortless effort as i like to say you know you're not like trying to push yourself not to think or anything like that no not at all no you're just practicing the guidelines i gave you uh, do this for three to five minutes max you don't have it to do it more than that and again in a way it's kind of like floating on seawater you know the the amount of effort you want to put in this uh, when you're floating on seawater if you kick too much and too hard you're probably gonna start sinking more or if you don't you're gonna get tired and eventually you will sink um, if you don't kick at all you know at some point your body starts to sink in again so you want to find a healthy balance of kicking a little bit there and here you know bringing this way yourself a little bit more into the present again and again every time that you uh, get out of it and get caught into your train of thought so uh, that was all try this in the beginning of your workout before warming up and after that just continue training like you always do um, you know if you feel like putting some music put some music if you're enjoying like this piece that you suddenly experienced keep on enjoying the piece you don't have to turn music on or whatever it is you uh, like to do uh, as an extra thing to keep you uh, more busy when you're work when you're working out you know maybe some people even watch tv i don't know maybe some people uh, talk with friends so uh, again do whatever feels natural once you are done with this exercise and i want you to practice this exercise for at least a week and let me know what are your experiences with it let me know how did it make you feel let me know what are the problems you're facing while doing it you know um we'll be doing a little bit of troubleshooting in the next video i'll be making soon uh, i'll be answering any of your possible problems and questions you might have and post down below here in the comment section so that was all until next time keep on training